Hey everyone, welcome to Wild Kitchen presented by Moultrie Mobile. In this video, we're going to be making venison cabbage rolls, also known as halupki. To begin this recipe, we'll take two medium sized cabbage rolls and remove the coarse outer leaves. Once you have those leaves removed, we'll start cutting out the core of the cabbage. To do this, you'll take your knife and cut around the edge of the core. You'll then use your knife, kind of like a lever, and peel the core out of the cabbage. Once you've got the main core out, you can do this again just to make sure all the remaining pieces of the core are also removed. Once you've fully removed the core, repeat the process with the other cabbage roll. Then we'll place our cabbage roll one at a time into a large pot of boiling salted water. In the beginning, you may need to use your spoon or spatula to just press it into the water. And we'll do this for about five minutes or until the leaves start falling off on their own. As they fall off, you'll use tongs to take them apart and place them aside. You'll continue the same process until all of the usable leaves have been removed. Once you've gotten to the tighter leaves, you can remove that from the pot and save it for later. Then we can take our second cabbage and repeat the same process of boiling and removing the leaves as it cooks. Next, we'll take our viable cabbage leaves and remove the thick center from the bottom of each of the cabbage leaves. Then we'll take a couple of the tighter leaves and chop them up, saving about a half cup for later. Now we can head over to our skillet. I've already melted butter over medium high heat and now I'm adding in diced bacon and diced onions. You'll need about a half pound of bacon and you'll dice that up and take two medium onions and also dice them up. You'll saute them in the pan until they're lightly brown, which will take five to seven minutes. Once they're nice and lightly brown, we can add in a tablespoon of minced garlic and saute it for just a minute or so until the garlic is fragrant. Then we can take this pan and simply set it aside until later when we're ready to use this mixture. Now we can make the sauce for the cabbage rolls. We'll combine one and a half cup chicken broth, two cups of tomato sauce, and one cup of ketchup. For the tomato sauce, I prefer to use something a little more chunky just to give the sauce some texture, but you can use whatever kind is your favorite. Once the sauce is nicely mixed, you can take two 9 by 17 pans and pour a small amount of the sauce on the bottom of each of the pans. Now we'll make our cabbage roll filling. You'll need to grab the biggest mixing bowl you have. Then we can add in one and a half pounds of ground venison and one pound of mild Italian sausage. Then you'll grab your skillet we previously set aside and add in our sauteed onions and bacon. I really like to get every drop of this mixture in there because I feel like it carries so much flavor. Now we can add in our seasonings. We'll need two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of paprika, and a tablespoon of dried parsley. Then we can add in our extra reserved chopped cabbage. Lastly, we'll add in a cup of cooked white rice. Then we can take a spatula and really mix those ingredients together. Once you have that nice and mixed, we'll take our cabbage leaves and start stuffing them. The most important thing for these is to not overfill them. I use a one third cup measuring spoon, place it over top of the cabbage roll. Then we can use our hands to roll the cabbage over the meat mixture, tuck in the edges, and we'll kind of want this to be tight, but not too tight so that the cabbage leaves end up breaking. Then we can place our rolled cabbage into our pans and pour the remaining sauce over top. I already have my oven preheated to 350 degrees, but I'm gonna move my rack to the top section. Using aluminum foil, we'll cover our pans and then we can place them into the oven. We'll cook our cabbage rolls for one hour covered, then remove the aluminum foil and cook them for another half an hour. At the hour mark when you're removing the aluminum foil, you'll notice how nice and bubbly the sauce is becoming. In that last half an hour, the sauce will start to thicken up and really seal in those flavors. And that's it. Just look at how amazing these cabbage rolls turned out. I like to serve them with a side of mashed potatoes. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Moultrie Mobile.